and we are back. So, last time we went and turned on the auxiliary power. Some of the doors don't work still, but we got save stations and recharge stations up and running. Um, a, lot, a few new enemies and a lot of uh, craziness happened last time. So, um, we are going to actually just continue and see what we can find. All right, figure figured it all out. Not gonna lie, I couldn't remember everything that was in here, so I just went ahead and checked it out. So there's a little bit of a wonky area here. You can't get through there because there's no power. And then if we head up here, there's a few more plants. Come up through here, and we see there's another dead door. Which means there's another boss right around the corner, which is kind of crazy to think. Now, before we go up there, I kind of want to not fall back into this other room. Um, actually, just take out some of these creatures here. And kind of head up here, if possible. Oh, that was nice. Okay, let's see if we can actually head up here. <laughs> I kind of just wanted to check check this area out real quick. There's a few extra doors here that we cannot open at the moment. Well, that's okay to know. And we're gonna head on down and head up. Boom. Much easier. Ice missile, those guys, not gonna lie. And then power bomb here. That should help out a little bit. There we go. A little bit of energy refill. It's brilliant. Then hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> oh, okay. Then super missile that. Okay. Now we have a little bit of health, and oh goody, I just fell straight into the plane right away. <laughs> okay, well that that was awesome. Um, so this here is Senatori, which resembles a Chozu statue. This is kind of interesting. Oh gosh, um, I don't do well well with uh, random flying plants. Okay. And then, what is this? Is Do I see plasma beam? That doesn't make any sense. Just coming out of random places. That's crazy. Also, it's doing a lot of damage to us right now. So, uh, that was fun. Oh, and there's an shooting at us too. That's awesome. And lots to possibly. Maybe one more. Oh, I missed. Okay. There we go. And what do we know? Plasma beam ability recovered. Beam now pierces enemies. Which is kind of insane. It's also a slightly damage upgrade if I remember right. And not to mention, that's the uh, nostalgic green beam. So, that's awesome. And now we have access to doors again, which is kind of nice, not gonna lie. And I'm actually gonna go back to the other room because I missed the map. Okay, that was literally like one block higher. <laughs> There's literally no other map there. Okay, and we're gonna head down here. You can shoot through here and tr try to take some of these guys out for a little bit more health, which is kind of nice. And then we're gonna get our way through here. And there's this guy. A little bit extra damage is kind of nice right now. I still don't mind a super missile just because it freezes all the enemies. But it's alright, I'd say. And then we can actually head up above. And, whoop. Mess that up. Well, that was nice. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna head up here, climb up this way, 
And we're gonna come up through here. Now here, there is a few of these guys. And there is a little hidden spot right there. And if we just go ahead and power bomb, there is an energy tank here. So we I didn't even mention this last time, but we are actually on our second row of energy tanks, which it kind of feels nice, to be honest. It feels like it's a very needed. I'm gonna work our way through here. And take on a few more of these guys. These ones are the hoppers, so hopping ones, so it's not as threatening, I'd say. And then a little bit of power bomb here. That's nice. Grab the rest of those energies. Although we don't really need them because we're actually just gonna head on up right here. And yeah. Make our way back through here. I'm gonna go ahead and recharge because we can. 200 missiles, 16 power bombs, and a full amount of health. Quick save. That was a quick save there. And then navigation room once again. What, you've restored plasma beam functionality? Most unexpected. Even so, continue to avoid the SAX, it too may be stronger. And you still lack a few abilities crucial to your survival. Wait, wait a second. More trouble, hold on. I've isolated the cause. There's been an explosion in ARC data room. Samus, go to Sector 5. Is your objective clear? Yes. The damage is staggering. Find out what's causing it. Will do. And that's gonna actually happen in the next one. I know today was a little bit short. Possibly. And if it isn't, then that means I actually combine the two videos together, depending on how long the last one was. But uh, I kind of wanted this one to be a shorter one anyways, because Plasma Beam is a kind of a very necessary function, I feel like, in a lot of Metroid games. And they kind of just threw it in in between a couple of bosses. So um, yeah, that's it's kind of interesting the way they did it. But at the same time, I, I kind of like it. Um, they uh, Adam actually hinted towards it quite early on, which is something I really do. It's kind of interesting because Adam is almost never wrong, and I don't think we've actually ever seen him um, be wrong in this game, which is kind of an interesting thing. He actually said in it was one of the previous episodes that um, you may be able to actually restore it, just like all the other functionalities, through the X form. And what do you know? We actually did. <laughs> so uh, this is kind of a long outro, but. Um, if you guys did like today, do leave a like button down below. And I'm not actually streaming Troy for a little while. I'll get back into the series in about a week or two. And I'll uh, talk with you guys in the Discord about it. If you guys are wondering, you can do explanation mark Discord in the chat. Or you can uh, just go to the link in the description. Either way will do. And if you haven't done it already, please do hit the subscribe button. We do Metroid videos and Troria videos. Uh, I am trying to get the rest of Metroid Fusion done so I can play Metroid Dread on the channel for the first time and stream it. I am so excited for the game, but I think that just about does it. So as always guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.